All right. Um, so now the careful transition of power at the taco bar is being handed over to Angela Brett. Angela, um, before uh, before you do your thing and say something interesting about your day, see, you're the only one who gets a moment to think about it. I just want to mention that I met Angela Brett um, and uh, invited her to come to my open mic, which you were all invited to after this show. And, um, and at the open mic, she told me about this cruise. And I simply thought, what? There's a whole boat full of cool people like you? Sign me up. And I think 20 minutes later, I was booked. Um, and it's been basically uh, a lot of fun since 2015. And it was about time we put together a show on this boat. And I think it's fabulous that uh, it finally happened. And just thank you for supporting the open mic. Thank you for being a part of my life. And thank you for bringing me on this boat. an open mic and being a part of my life and being on this boat. Aww. Would you uh, let me know what... Got it. It would kill us if we broke that mic. Um, Just blame it on the battery. Can I, can I hold on to the mic stand so that I'm yeah. a bit less boat? Yes. <laughs> I, I think that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Is that okay with you, inanimate object? <laughs> Um, we'll find out. Consent is given. If the mic stand seems like it's gonna break, um, don't don't pull a Freddie Mercury. Just save the mic. Okay. Um, so, what was the most interesting part of your day? Well, I participated in the Fancy Pants Parade with these pants that have been lovingly decorated by many sea monkeys that I have met up until today. So I literally thought there should be sea monkeys swarming around you with markers adding to the decorations while you were proceeding along the parade. I think that would have been very interesting and almost more animate than those spinning things. Yeah, then they would have become, it would have been more of a performance piece. Then. They yeah. would have been part of my pants. <laughs> and you're tripping over people with markers. <laughs> yeah. Well, they could hold me up. <laughs> While drawing on my hands. Yes! Yes! She because sea monkeys hold each other up unless microphone stands hold them up. <laughs> and with that, I um, bid you farewell for a time being. Okay, so I'm going to do uh, another science poem. Um, this one is a little bit more in depth because I saw Katie Mack last night talking about cosmology and stuff. Um, and. I used to work at CERN, where they do a lot of particle physics, and uh, um, but actually CERN was founded basically to get uh, scientists from, uh, from different countries that had just been at war to be working together and, and uh, you know, bring about world peace and stuff. So uh, this poem is about that, but it's also full of puns about the actual physics that they're doing as well. So if you, if you know a bit about particle physics, you might get another layer to it. Otherwise, hopefully, it still makes sense anyway. Um, it's called Grand Unification. You might think that we're just doing science with our Hadron Collider so large, but we built this electric alliance to give weight to our positive charge. Take researchers from every nation. Let the humans within them collide. We will find the grand unification when we see that we're on the, the same side. And with every race, tongue, and religion, we'll find how to give all the world mass. If we'd all interact, just a smidgen, with the openness through which we pass, I have to adopt an American accent there, um, We'd find life's ups and downs become charming and strange if we face them head on. And what's more, seeking beauty and truth, we can make a big change with small change from the purses of war. Take the light at the end of the tunnel and ensure it goes all the way around to illuminate more than the sun and enlighten with what we have found. When you've unresolved matters, understanding runs thin you face too many forces to name. If you cut out the din and put energy in, it turns out that we're all just the same. <laughs>